Art Ocal for ESPN Esports here at Super Smash Con in Virginia. Your singles and doubles Super Smash Brothers Brawl champion is Anti representing SK Telecom T1. There's the trophy and there's the medal. You are a dual champion here, sir. Yeah, Let's talk about the singles championship that you just won. You defeated Nairo in the finals. Uh, you've met him in the grand finals before many, many years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just talk a little bit about Nairo as an opponent and, and that friendly rivalry you have. So Nairo, uh, back when I first started out in like, 2009, he, wasn't, he didn't really exist. He came into like his form in like about 2012 or 2011. That's when Nairo became a top player. So like ever since he became like a top player, he became he was really really good at in uh, Meta Knight Diddles, the matchup we played in Grand Finals, and like he beat a lot of like, he won Apex 2014 the premiere in uh, years ago, and he just he just really really good at Meta Knight Diddles, and when I played him like in Grand Finals just now I was like oh my god like it was last hit and I was like I can't choke like I felt myself choking in Grands, but like I got the guard release at the end and I hit him with a down smash and I closed it out. But Nairo is really really good. He won two years in a row. He's he's a very clutch player too. He's very clutch, so I was surprised I clutched it out over him. So I was like, oh, let's go. <laughs> so let's talk about that grand final. He almost reset the bracket. You were in the lead. He took the lead in that final stock. It was basically uh, one stock left for both of you. Your range of emotions in that final moment, in those final moments though, they went all over the place. I want to know what was in your mind that entire final stock. So. Halfway through, I made about, I made, I think in the last stock, I made about four missed inputs. And after the second missed input, I realized, I was like, snap into it. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, my hands started like shaking. I was, after I won, like, my hands were like shaking like a lot. So after that, I was like, after the, sec the second missed input, I was like, all right, calm down, anti, just play your game. And then just like, keep being clutch. Cause I know Nairo, he has to go deep off stage. So every time I was off stage, I would recover high. Because when you recover high, you take a little bit of damage, but you don't die for it. So I was like, I'll take a little bit of damage and then reset the neutral over and over again. Because I don't want to get go off stage, go low, and get killed. So that's what, that's what went through my mind. And then like at the last minute right there, we both had like 150% for like about about like a minute. That was crazy. It was a long time. So after that, um, we were over fishing for down smash. Because down smash is a very safe kill confirm. Like I kill confirm, but like a uh, kill move. Because it pushes him back a little bit. So like he went for a down smash, and I blocked it, and then like, I grabbed him, and then uh, I was like, all right, he grabbed release out of it, and then I just smashed out down smash. Because I was like, all right, I hope, I hope I kill right here, and it killed, so I won. So. <laughs> and, when, and when you did win, you breathed a big sigh of relief. What were you thinking in that moment? I was, I was thinking to myself that, like, I was like, oh my god, I finally dethroned Nairo. Like, because he won two years in a row, and I, like, I was in Winterside Grand Finals. I hate getting a reset and losing the tournament, so like, I made sure. And I wanted to make my sponsor proud too, so. Yes. Shout out to T1, bringing me here. Guys are amazing. <laughs> well, you guys are friendly rivals, but you were also partners last year. You won duos last year. You had a different partner this year, but you are a two-time, or back-to-back, -back, I should say, uh, a duos champion. Uh, just take us through yesterday's victory. Oh, so yesterday in Grand Finals um, in doubles, we actually were down. We lost the first set to Salem and Chia, 3-0. Uh, we got 3-0, and then like, we lost uh, game one of the second set, so I told my partner uh, Wyatt ADG, I was like, just double team Chia because like he was a big character. So after that, we just double teamed him, and then like we won 3-0 straight. So like we were like pushing the edge a little bit, but we just we won 3-1 the second set. It wasn't a game five. So what goes into changing your partner? I mean, you were champion with Nairo last year. Why not uh, run it back this year? Uh, I don't think Nairo. Uh, you go to enter like five events, and last year Ultimate wasn't out, so. Um, he didn't have. She had uh, four events to enter last year, but this this year he had six events to enter, so he was limited. So I asked ADHD. You know, ADHD asked me. He was like, "You want a team?" Because we used to team a lot back in like 2010, and then after that we uh, teamed and it's one. And then like with Nairo last year, I went Wario, and then uh, this year I went Meta Knight with ADHD. So. As we know, uh, there aren't too many brawl tournaments at this level happening. This is one of the larger ones here at Super Smash Con. So what does this win mean to you? And I'd also like to know, like, what kind of preparation did you put going into this? Uh, how much brawl did you play? I actually played no brawl at all. I just, wow. I only played in tournament. Like, I barely played, I, well, I played zero yesterday in a couple, like, uh, casuals, casual matches. But uh, Kyle's warming him up for Smash Masters. And then, like, other than that, I only played in tournament. I didn't really practice for it. But I, 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 once you like, it's like riding a bike. Once you like know, you know. So like, I just went with that and I kept on winning, winning, winning. Well, I had a close set in winter semifinals against an unknown player named uh, six, six, eight, six M. It was, I was last hit two, and then I, I three one ADHG in, in uh, winter finals, and then I three two narrow last hit. So I, I was just playing really clutch at the tournament. So, yeah. so what does this championship mean to you then? Uh, I haven't got a trophy in a long time because I'm not as good in ultimate. <laughs> But uh, I, I just want, I was just feels good to know that I still have it in uh, Brawl because that's a very neutral-based game, and that gave me reassurance that I have solid neutral. So 
it's made me feel good to know that I could win in our brawl. So. so what happens from here? Continue to grind ultimate and continue to enter tournaments? Yeah, uh, I actually don't, like ultimate is fun to watch for me, but like I don't click with the game like how I click with brawl and Smash 4. So I'm just gonna keep on trying in ultimate and uh, see what happens. But every year I come here, I always enter brawl. Brawl is my first true love, my baby. <laughs> Your first true love and you are the champion. So congratulations, Anti.